So the practice was easy. We got that done fast. So now we're on to the next part. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so example two, we're gonna solve for X, but we're still gonna use our swoosh. We're gonna use swoosh, swoosh. Bring it around town, bring it around town. So we're gonna do that. We start with our base number. We bring it around town. Bring it around town. So we have three. Oops, not that. We have three to the two x power equals twenty seven. All right. So at this point, we're we're trying to figure out what's going on for x and how we're going to be able to get to that. It's going to be interesting and weird. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to be a whole number. Because we know 3 to the third power gives us 27. And we're not going to be able to put anything in there to make it to go from 2 to 3. So we're going to have to kind of figure something out with that. So here is a great rule that happens all the time that you're going to have to remember. That helps out if you remember it. If you have numbers, or if numbers have the same base, the exponents will equal each other. So if they have the, let's highlight this one. Just so I can highlight it, because I like to highlight too. Huh? It's not working. Work. There you go. No? That's colored. There we go. Highlighter. Go behind. So they have the same base number. The exponents equal. Exponents will equal. So we need to get this part. We need to get this 27 to either equal 3 to some power, or we need to get 3 to be 27 of some sort. I think it's going to be easier to get it from 27 to 3 than that. So we already kind of know about that. We already talked about that a few seconds ago. So I'm going to bring all this down. I'm going to re rewrite this down here again. So if we're trying to get the same number here for the base, we know we're going to try to go for 3. So 3 is what we're looking for. So we need to change this to 3 to some power so that we have the same base so that our exponents can equal each other. So 3 to 2x power is base. And 27 is 3 to what power? If you can't figure it out off the top of your head, because I kind of already said it earlier. I hope you're paying attention so you don't have to do much work. But if you can't, then you need to go ahead and put in the calculator and type it in and see 3 to what power gives you 27. And hopefully, you're paying attention so you would also know already. I'll give you a second. A couple seconds. Two more seconds. 17 more seconds. 15 more seconds. 10 more seconds. 5 more seconds. Five more seconds. Five more seconds. All right. So I've actually gotten three cubed. All right. So we know that three cubed equals 27. And we said if they have the same base number, the exponents will equal each other. So in this case, that means 2x is going to equal 3. So 2x here equals 3, which is right here. Not the 3 here, not the big 3, not the base 3, but the actual exponent 3. So now all we do is just solve this for x, and then we're done. Now everybody should know how to do this one. Everybody should be good. So all we're going to do is divide by 2. And we get x equals 3 over 2. That's yeah, not hard. Not hard at all. And all we did was do the swoosh. And doing that other like rule there, and then we're done. Simple and easy. Huh? Not hard. Now it's going to come back into play again when we talk about exponential equations, because that's what that was a few uh, up a little bit earlier was an equation. But we're going to make this work really well. So we're not going to have another, another practice on this one. We're going to go ahead and just move on. So hopefully everybody understood this. If you don't understand this or something's confusing to you, call me over right now. Like I'm still in the room. Call me around. Call me over now, and I can answer your questions. Don't just sit there and be like, oh, I don't get it. I'm confused. I'm lost. I'm just gonna move on. So I don't get it. 
Alright, so moving on. Moving right along. With this one now, we're going to go backwards. So we've been dealing with our swoosh. We're going to make our swoosh and we move it around town and everything of that sort to make up from log function to exponential. Now we're doing the backwards swoosh. <laughs> you like that one? The backwards swoosh. Now we're doing a backwards swoosh. And we're going to change it from exponential to log. So you, from, to go from log to exponential, you do the swoosh. To go from exponential to log, you go backwards swoosh. All right, so it's not bad again. Oh, cool. that's, not, that's not what I want. All right, so right here. There we go. So we're going to start off with our exponent this time. We're going to come around. We're going to get around to Again, do something weird. Stop doing that. So this time, we're going to start with the exponent. And bring it back around town. Back around town. that every single time. We're going to start with the exponent and bring it back around town. So we're going to go, again, we're going from exponential, which is b to the y. Let's do this, let's do this again. So we're going to start with b to the y equals x. That's what we're starting with. And we're going to end it with our log. y equals log x base b. So we need to be able to go from the red to the black. And be good. I want to highlight that really quickly also because I don't want to get lost in all the, all the stuff. That green kind of messed it up. Let's do yellow. There we go. So keep that red and the black. So again, we're going from the red part to the black part. And here, this is an arrow right here. It's an arrow. Not like a less than or greater than or equal to sign. It's an arrow. It's an arrow. All right, so when we write this, I'm going to move B down. What's the down All right, so when we do this, we're going to start off with the Y equals log X base B part thing. We're going to do in the order that we circled and moved it around. So we start off with Y. We say y equals, you write the word log, the b is next, and that next number that we circled after the circle was 2. And then we have 5 is our big number. And again, the, uh, for here, because I didn't say this earlier, but make sure the 2 is not on the same line as the log. 2 is not on the same line as the log. I'm going to draw this line and I'm going to take it off a few seconds. This line, log and 5 are on the same line. 2 is below the line. I say that so many times every single year, and people still write it like it's 25. So if that looks like 25 to me, it's going to be wrong. So make sure you write it correctly. And I'm showing you now how to write it so that you don't mess that up. So we get that part. And that's all you got to do. That's it. So then we come to B. Again, we do our swoosh, our backward swoosh, sorry. Start with our exponent, we take it backwards. So the first thing we write down is what we circle. What we have, whatever we circle is what we start with. So that exponent is what we start with. So we say 5 equals log e. Oh boy. E. Then y is last. So you must do it in that order. And again, here again. Uh, come on, line. Three. Come on, line. 
the Y and the log are on the same line. E is below the line. E is below the line. So again, it's very vital that you write this correctly. Correctly. And with this one, don't just be like, whoa, wait, 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 I'm confused, I'm lost. Wait, how'd you do that, Mr. Hall? Because why was first, so why is not first now? Again, as you wrote up there, and as you can see, it says start with the exponent. On well, this problem, the 5 was the exponent, right? Was it not? 5 is the exponent. Then we write equals log. The next number comes at next. So e was the next one. We already talked about that's a number that's like 2.7, blah, 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 blah. So the next number was e. So we write that after log. And then y is the last thing, so we write that last. So the exponent's first, then the next number, and then it's equal to that last number. Always in that order. Do not make up your own order for this. Do not make it up, because then you're being confused, because you're thinking too hard. Stop thinking so hard. Stop it. It's not that bad. We can do this. We can get, we're going to fly through it, because this should be an easy part. This should be that easy part of the test that everybody should make a 100 on or make like a 90-something on, because it's not hard. So don't make it hard, please. All right, so I'm going to give you a practice in a few seconds. So just make sure that you understand what's going on here. Again, if you are confused on anything, call me over. Do not sit there and just be like, Mr. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Call me over. I'm right in this room. 